What's up guys, Devin with Adventure Hub Passion back today doing another video starting off 2022. Sadly in the basement editing a video. I've been super sick for the last week or so. Um, so I actually have a bunch of lost footage from a few weeks ago of videos ago. So yeah, we're gonna jump into some uh, testing of the mini bike. Alright guys, so another video the next day. I got back just in time because it dumped buckets yesterday for about 20-ish minutes. It's actually had a ton of flooding all around. Um, but the earth's been so dry, or this area's been so dry, it couldn't soak up anything. But um, I'm going to test, I'm going to check out the Magneto, see how tight, it, what the clearances are, see if it's even rusty. I do keep it inside, but it still does, things do rust. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, Check the governor. I don't think I've ever actually adjusted the governor on this one. I don't, and I probably won't adjust it till I get some more data with it. So I'm gonna hook up. I might hook up a spark plug, get an RPM gauge on it, and then test things. But first is first. I'm gonna take the side cover off and get the uh, check the magneto. All right. I didn't show you the flywheel, but the flywheel was slightly rusty. Not too bad at all. Um, the magnet was tiny bit. The magneto was pretty clean. It had dirt all over it. I cleaned that all up anyways and reset the gap. It was a super, super tight gap. Um, I've seen a lot of people that are building these engines like crazy and they said run a looser gap on your stock flywheel. And then when you get to the uh, billet ones that have the rare earth magnets and those really strong magnets in it, then run a tighter gap. Uh, the, then you'll want to run the, actually the exact same gap with that strong magnet. Um, I'll probably be getting a new Magneto here soon, so if I blow it, it doesn't really matter. But you'll blow it with a tight gap, not a loose gap. So I'm running loose, and I'm going to go see if it makes any difference. And the it's I cleaned up the uh, flywheel. But yeah, we're going to go through some speed runs. I probably won't film it. All right, so uh, that was the video today. I didn't film any of the driving parts of it. But just to let you know, there's with the governor intact on a stage one mini bike, stage one Predator 212, so just an intake and exhaust um, and jetting, there is no difference running a really tight coil gap and a really and a pretty dang loose coil gap. As long as you're within those means, it's going to run just fine and give you the pretty much the exact same lap times. I'd run a tighter one. Um, personally, I feel like it would, personally, I feel like it gives gives you more of a difference. But from my short drags, it didn't make a difference. From my uh, top speed runs, it didn't make a difference. So, it's all personal, personal preference. I also feel like it keeps the magneto and the magnet on the flywheel cleaner. But, yeah. Also, it's 2022. So, one of my resolutions this year, I, what I want to do is do a lot more trips. So, that means taking out the mini bike more. And taking out the Tacoma a lot more. Maybe the trailer and stuff like that. But I want to go off-roading a lot more. I want to go explore a lot more places. I want to go out of state to go off-roading. And go meet up with other YouTubers. So, yeah. If you are gonna, if you like that idea, go ahead. Freaking subscribe. Freaking check out the rest of the videos on the channel. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But biggest thing on my channel, go out and go find your passion.